So I was in the hospital with my granddaughter. She was born three months ago. She's in the hospital. Since my granddaughter was in the hospital, I sewed $100 into Catherine Crick Ministries uh, for prayer, and I put on the, on the seed that I needed prayer for my granddaughter. And then when I was in the hospital, I kept getting a phone call from Zillow that I had a potential client. I'm a realtor. And I kept ignoring it because I was in the hospital and I didn't want to answer a business call. So on the way home from the hospital, I received a name on the caller ID and I answered it and it was the same person trying to contact me in the hospital and they said that Zillow gave us your number. And that usually doesn't happen. So I said, well, when I get home, I'll call you. And when I got home, I looked up the house they were looking for and within four days, I had them under contract for a $600,000 house. So I, I truly believe that as soon as I sowed that $100 seed into Catherine Crick, it immediately turned around and it was chasing me, trying to bless me, trying to give me money and I was kept ignoring it and it kept chasing me. And, and I have, I mean, it's a huge commission on a $600,000 house. I definitely am gonna continue to sow into Catherine Crick. Uh, I, I love the Bible, I love the, the sowing and the reaping, and that could be with just planting an apple seed and getting an apple tree, or planting, um, sowing into somebody's life with a prayer, sowing, feeding the poor, it always comes back. And then I just thank God for Catherine Crick and her ministry, and I'm at a service today, and it was just a blessing, and I encourage everybody to, uh, to follow their heart and to practice sowing and reaping. Thanks.